For 70 years, Johnson Level has been a leader in levels, lasers, and layout tools. Our injection molding department, uh, we make very simplistic all the way to complex parts, including vials, which uh, we produce over 10 million units a year. Those are the heart and soul of every level. I attended an event in 2018 and saw 3D carbon fiber printing technology used um, in, in other industries to create uh, fixtures and uh, prototypes and thought it would be a, a really useful uh, machine here at our facility in Mequon. I saw the opportunity that we could bring something in-house here um, to really push us to the next level. The challenge in our first project is the, the, the fixture was an ultrasonic welding fixture. So the part gets pressed by a welding fixture and it, it, it uh, vibrates at a high frequency to weld the components together. Uh, we were able to print with GSC's help and try it in our location. It proved to be as durable as our current fixtures. And again, the advantage of that is we're printing these overnight and saving tons of lead time and cost. Um, and if we have to make any design changes on the fly, we have that option. We wait a day and it's done. Bringing 3D printing in-house addressed many of our quality, our cost and lead time issues. But it wasn't until we purchased a Mark Forge that we were able to get truly functional parts. Working with GSC, they actually ran some parts for us that we were able to sample for a period of time. We proved out that the material was strong enough. When I joined Johnson, we were already using 3D printing in-house, uh, more on a prototype basis. Ultimately, we wanted to get into printing more production fixturing. Using the 3D printing technology for nearly a decade, since then, we've evolved from prototype parts to uh, assembly tools, assembly machines, end of arm tooling, and we've also reduced lead times from weeks to days and many times hours. So in our vial filling station, uh, we have many different stages where the vial has to be mechanically gripped and moved into position. Uh, these grippers are a wear item, and they're uh, today made out of steel, machined, and fairly expensive to replace with a long lead time. By switching these to 3D printed parts, we did a couple different things. Number one, we saved weight, which improves the lifetime of the part. Number two, we also reduced the cost and the lead time for replacement significantly. Cost about 10 to 1, and lead time from about 6 weeks to about 24 hours. What I love about the Mark Forge printers is not only can we produce the prototypes that we'll show to our customers and to our end users, at the same time, we can also produce the test fixturing that goes into testing and R&D work on these products. Three D printing has allowed us to keep more functions in house, including packaging design. We were working on a project, um, and we knew we had some advantages to going to a different style packaging. One idea we had was to reduce the structure of POP size which allows us to get more product in the same space. Using 3D printing, we were able to take an idea and through multiple iterations, within a, about a week's time, we had a finalized design. We can get twice as many products in the same amount of space. Part of this type, you typically could not machine all of the different features. Uh, using 3D printing, it allows you to do many things that you couldn't normally machine. And we utilize the Mark Forge uh, for the nests and, and all the, everything that's touching the parts. Uh, the advantages that we got from that are we got a machine basically built in, in a week instead of you know, up to 12 weeks lead time from a machine builder. Uh, our parts, our spare parts can be stored in a computer instead of on the shelf and we can print them overnight if we ever have a problem. Features like this, that would be very difficult to machine. I mean you can do it, but it's very costly. I think the future of 3D printing is evolving significantly. Historically, we'd printed only prototype parts, and it was great and extremely helpful, um, but there wasn't a huge ROI on the prototype parts only. Today, we're printing production fixturing, and in the future, we might possibly be printing production parts even. Sometimes it's better to work with an outside supplier. So for example, with GSC, um, we've used GSC for running FEA analyses for us. Um, they act as an, almost an extension of our engineering team. They know our product line well, and for us, it's a huge, huge benefit to have somebody that knows that to be able to step in and help you out. So we're looking at now a new 3D printer uh, that'll give us more capacity, let us print some of our bigger products in only one piece. It simplifies the entire process. 
Because of 3D printing, we've reduced our costs by nearly 90%. Everybody's doing it, so it's a given that you know 3D printing is part of a design process. And if you're not 3D printing, you're gonna get left behind. We adopted this technology less than a year ago. We've already proved it out in numerous projects. It's paid for itself already, and we're only beginning to scratch the surface of what this technology can actually do for us.